The Battle of Unruliness, Part 1, Under the Moon The low glow of the crescent moon shone upon their backs as they made their way through what little brush the prairie had. It was dark and quiet, perfect conditions for those on a hunt. They made their way swiftly, and as their time was most limited, they had a single objective, to undo the enemy from within. They had spent weeks, if not months, waiting for a moment such as this, an opportunity to hunt prey. In the shadows they had waited, in the dark they had watched. They had planned on striking someday. But with things having turned out the way that they did, that someday had, much to their excitement, become today. As they neared the edge of the encampment where the army of the giraffe folk had fortified themselves, they paused for a moment. The giraffe knew well how to dig in. Their camp was surrounded by a high and sturdy wall. Just behind it, they had guards perfectly spaced apart. The wall was short enough to enable the giraffe to see over it, but tall enough to make the inside of the camp impossible to see from the outside. Any hill or outcropping of rocks that could have provided the ability to look in was either well guarded or had been intentionally flattened. All brush around the circle of the wall had been cleared, allowing the guards behind the wall a clear view of any possible approach. It was an impressive defense, given that it had been made only two days prior. Indeed, any undulate might have been tempted to consider any kind of covert mission akin to suicide. And they most likely would have been right. But these were no undulates that approached the camp. They were predators. The giraffe were clever but there was no way they could have prepared for something like this. The guards stood alert and very much aware as their eyes scanned the relatively flat plain that surrounded their camp. Though look as they might, they did not, nor could not, see their foe approach. Nor did they hear a thing, save for a very slight breeze that blew through the air from time to time. They did not see them cross the cleared ground around the camp, nor did they hear them scale their impressive walls. But then again, how could one see and hear shadows, let alone stop them? Now, to their credit, a few guards did see some movement. However, they dismissed it as their fellow guards moving about the camp. Thus, it was with little alarm that their foe entered in and began their work. The hunters moved as swiftly as they could, for their allies would attack shortly after dawn though their task was not easy. The camp itself was laid out in a way only a giraffe could make sense of, the tents too tall for the hunters to easily see over, and they dared not scale on top of them lest they collapse one or be spotted. Crossing a wall was easy enough, standing alone on the top of a brightly colored tent and remaining unseen was another matter. The layout was to them chaotic and confusing, thus to cover more ground they split their forces. From tent to tent they traveled. Most were filled with rank-and-file troops, not their targets. Though they wish they were, for they were most hungry. Those few that had commanders, they marked and went on their way to the next tent. While it would have been most easy to simply eat them while they slept, they had other plans for them. Tent by tent they traveled. Tent by tent they ignored. Tent by tent they marked. Until finally... They reached the center. There, completely surrounded by guards, stood the tent of the Grand General of the Giraffe Army. What are we to do? asked a shadowy wolf. We cannot get in. There are too many eyes even for us. Look, while the walls were cast in shadow and darkness, the tent is surrounded by light and guards on every side. We are too few to take them on directly, and they would surely gather at once to save their commander. Then let us return to the tent of their leaders, spoke a young elf. The masters speak to me and see others who bear their mark. The time for our plan is upon us, she grinned. Yeah, about that. You mind telling us what's up with that? I mean, I'm kind of hungry. You can't expect us to be all shadowy, mysterious, and, you know, not tell us what's up with the whole not eating thing. 
I mean, sneaking around like this ain't easy, okay? Francis the tabby cat interjected. Again. Billy Francis, we are going to do this now, right in the middle of a mission. The elk looked at him, her eye twitching slightly. The cat rolled his eyes. Well, you sure didn't tell us anything back at base. Francis, a young lemur placed a paw upon him. Don't worry, if this all goes according to plan, this is going to be amazing. So stick with the program for once, okay? Francis let out a sigh. Fine, but if I'm not eating anything soon, I'm splitting, okay? Fine, just don't want to have until we're done, alright? The elk snapped, though rather quietly. The cat waved a prowl in a yeah-yeah fashion. Alright, now come, we have work to do. The hunters left the center and headed for the closest commander's tent they could find. There upon a cot lay a commander of high rank. Keep watch lest we be ambushed, the lemur spoke to the wolf who went to the entrance of the tent. Very good, the elk said. Now watch, I shall show you how to supply and activate the mark. When you do, one of two things will happen. It will either put them into a coma to sleep, or it will make them one of us. The other hunters in the room watched closely as the elk stalked to the giraffe's bedside. Slowly, and as quietly as she could, she made her way to the head of her prey. When she reached it, she stood upon her hind legs and raised her hooves high. You are prey... And we are hunters. Upon you we place this mark of hatred and power, and command you to join the others. If before our master you dare cower, then your mind they will devour. Her near silent chant complete, she slammed a hoof upon the sleeping giraffe's forehead. Its eyes shot open, its mouth emitted a silent scream as a dark march etched itself upon its head. Its eyes flashed red, and it convulsed as though a powerful shock ran through it. Then it was still. For several moments the air was quiet. When its eyes finally opened, they did so suddenly, and to everyone's surprise, saved the elk. See, she said. Now go, we have little time. She pointed a hoof to the exit. The others nodded and left swiftly. The giraffe sat up and looked at her. What is your command? It said, its voice vacant and distant. She smiled. Gazio Turps, Commander, we have a good etat to perform. <laughs>